Hey, greetings YouTube. Today I want to talk about car detailing machines, not only vacuum cleaners, but maybe some wet extraction or a shampooer. And I want to talk about some other channels. I've seen a lot of people suggest that you should use a bulky shop vac. And it's not even so much the bulk. Most shop vacs are pretty underpowered. So that's not a good solution. Or the other solution I've seen are people should use, you know, your little hand vac, battery operated job. Well, these are super underpowered as well. So I've had a lot of time to think about this. And I believe I actually have the best detailing machine here. And it's not mine. And we're not going to get into the story of why this machine's in my possession right now. But anyways, uh, it kind of accidentally got into my possession. Um, but I, I really I really am impressed with this little guy. And even though he's cute and he's got a smiley face, and you can remove the smiley face if you need to be macho, folks. But he, he's a great little car detailer. So George, as you can see, smaller than a shop vac, bigger than a hand vac. But George is a two-in-one, and if you've been looking closely at him, he's hiding a little secret behind him. And if we look behind George, George comes with a lot of accessories. And George doesn't just come with dry accessories, George also comes with wet accessories. So George is also a full-fledged extractor as well. George also comes with a really long cord. Uh, it's about 30 feet. Most shop vac cords are about uh, 5 to 10 feet, so that's a real plus. You might not need an extension cord even to use him, which is super nice. And he's got a super nice long cord. It's yellow, so you know where it's at. You're not going to accidentally like run over it or something, hopefully. So we're inside my Jeep now. And we just came back from a 4x4 trip. That's right, I actually use my Jeep for its intended purpose. <laughs> um, and I want to talk about something like this that comes with really poor accessories and it's bulky versus something like this when you're cleaning inside your car. Because this is maybe one of the most underrated things is having a nice flexible hose. And uh, this machine comes with a crush proof hose, so it's super nice. Um, so if you're trying to use this thing inside your car, it's not going to get in, under, or even around very easily. And if you have a nicer car, you might scratch something with this hard plastic bulkiness. So again, don't really recommend this. Uh, and give you an idea of the power difference off the bat between the two machines as well. Let's make sure this is on high. gives you an idea and again I'm at a, a mile high here so some of the power is a little skewed uh, but we got 90 inches of uh, sealed suction and sealed suction is a more important metric when it comes to car cleaning than it is when it comes to carpet cleaning and I tell you why with a car you're gonna be picking up heavier objects so you're gonna need that also when it comes to our water extraction or picking up wet objects that really is the most important metric so let's go ahead and let's clean some of this car out. And I'm going to show you what the machine comes with in terms of accessories that are standard. Now this is a standard inch and a quarter fitting, which means you can buy just about any accessory you want. That being said, it comes with some really handy things. It comes with a nice round dusting brush. This is good because you can get along, get around, things like that um, very easily. What's cool about the hose on here is it's naturally a crevice tool. So if you do need to just do something real quick, you can do that. Of course, they do equip a proper, nice, long crevice tool to give you an idea how long this crevice tool is. Um, nice, long crevice tool. And then they give you this. So you have a big dusting brush, great for dashboards, the back of your car, but it's also your upholstery tool. So you have a nice upholstery tool. We want to go... Clean our upholstery. Get that out of here.
So you can see that that was really fast, quick, and dirty, but it, we've pretty much cleaned most of the front seat on the passenger side real quick with those tools. I think that I also forgot the shop vac in this. I am going to just talk about this. So shop vacs usually do have a shorter hose, but again, you still have a hose. Another problem with shop vacs is they don't use any sort of standard attachments. So if I have something I want to throw on there, say a dusting brush, it's just not going to work. I'll have to find an adapter or I'll have to track down some elusive kit on Amazon. So that's something with a shop vac. Now, if you do use a shop vac, we switch her on, you see it's really loud. It just doesn't have nearly as much power as that other machine did either. So not only do I, is that machine really versatile with its accessories, but it has a lot more power. Okay, here's another really important thing when we're selecting our car back, is what do we do when we're done? So, if you have one of these, it could be a Dyson, it could be this cheap one, it doesn't matter. These things all are the same. When it comes to bagless vacuums, you're gonna go outside, which you're in the garage, it's not a big deal. You take apart, you're gonna empty this, like so in the trash can, and then you're gonna to proceed to wash the multiple filters that these things all have. Again, doesn't matter the brand, anything that's bagless has multiple filters you must maintain um, or replace. In case with some of the newer Dysons, you actually have to replace them because you can't wash certain parts of them as easily. Same goes for the shop vac. Now there are bag shop vacs, but they're not really common. So again, with the shop vac, you're gonna have to take care of this pleated filter, which by the time you vacuum a whole car will be full of stuff. And then you're gonna have to dump the can, which if you're not, uh, you know, a big 200 pound gorilla like I am, might be a little bit more hassle than you want. So with George, it's a little simpler. There's nothing you have to do when you're done with him most of the time because George uses a modern bag and it's huge. I mean, this bag is huge. I can't do a good impression of that, but this bag, uh, it's over a gallon. It's twice the size of most portable vacuum cleaners. So uh, chances are maybe once a year, you're gonna throw this bag away and this bag as a self seal and you just throw it away when it's convenient. So George has a trick in his back pocket that will save you space in your garage because if you're like me, you got a ton of things in your garage. Um, and you know, really, why would you buy a second rate steam cleaner if you don't have to or shampooer or extractor? Those are all the same things for our purposes. So he's got a gallon water tank, which is more than enough to do a whole car. He's got a float valve. And again, you can just use him for just wet extraction if you need to. But usually if somebody spills, say, you know, their milkshake or whatever, food item, latte, whatever kids are drinking these days, boba tea uh, in the car, you notice he's got this little extra port in front of him. And this little extra port allows him to become more than a vacuum cleaner. It comes with a secondary hose, so you can have this hose dry out if you need, or you know you don't have to nasty up the dry hose. And on the end of here is this nice stainless steel quick disconnect for car um, on here. So let's look and see what's in his back pocket. So what we have here is a nice extraction tool. There's a couple of things I really like about this. One, it's a really high quality. Two, it's got a very wide opening. This wide opening means if you miss something when you were detailing your car with the vacuum side, it will just suck right in. Now, even high-end machines like rug doctors or commercial grade machines, the opening is very, very narrow and they tend to get clogged up with stuff and have to be cleaned out periodically. So this is really nice, especially in a car where things can hide sometimes where you can't see them. Now, you also saw that there are two switches on here as well. One of them's for suction, one of them's for the pump. And I really wish they were marked a little bit better. That's my only real gripe with him is if you look at the markings, they're arrows. And I'm a visual person, so I get this. But I can see definitely somebody pressing the wrong button a couple times they weren't used to it. And you could definitely write on him with Sharpie if you, if you needed to. So we're going to turn them on. You can hear that pump engage. And now... 
This again, big advantage of George is he's not just a vacuum cleaner. He's a full-fledged extracting machine of commercial quality. So now, I don't know what was spilled here. But now we can extract those stains, get that done in the back of here, all with one machine. I'm not having to switch machines, I'm not having to carry one more than one out, which really makes this ideal. And that's why I think, especially for the price of this, because this is really no different than buying a garage vac separately, a good garage vac, you know, and then buying a carpet extractor or even a handheld unit, those are several hundred dollars. So really when you put, put the two of them together and they're, they come out at the value of this machine really makes a difference and makes car cleaning a simple task. And so let's see how this does in our car. Super convenient, comfortable to use. Now, if we have to do this other part of the car, this is where this machine really impressed me. So if we're trying to get him clean here, this tool doesn't fit on these uneven surfaces. And none of them do, because let's face it, cars aren't flat. So there's something you can do with this machine. You can spray. Very up need be. You can see the, the mist is pretty good that it, it's got. And something you can do, set them aside. You can then use the crevice tool to finish the job up. And this crevice tool allows you to get into these fine details. Now I'm not going to bore you and use this, of course, and do the whole car because you don't want to see me do the whole car. But the fact that you have a crevice tool that you can use along with an upholstery tool. Now, it might not look like it, but I did a little bit of extraction work, a little bit of detailing, and I've used him a few times to detail not only this vehicle, my G the Jeep, but we also my wife's uh, uh, GT car. So being able to do that with this, super nice. So again, your clean water's right here, easy to fill, easy to transport. And then dirty water ends up right here. And because I use an environmentally friendly chemical, which I'll include a link below what I recommend, uh, I can actually just dump it out on my plants, no harm. So really easy to clean. And then he has a nice carrying handle, again, with place for plenty of accessories as well. Definitely one of the best tools, if not the best tool, that you can get on the market for cleaning your car, truck, SUV, uh, whatever kind of automobile you have between its dry and wet capability. Now, I did want to just show everything it does come with because it's a lot of stuff. And um, it does also come with... A set of wands with again similar sort of commercial fitting uh, for extraction and again this is just like the upholstery tool where it's nice wide fitting it's not going to get clogged up with anything um, it's also going to come with pretty basic floor tool 
Um, but it does come with that, and you can switch this if you need to do an area rug or something with it. And it does come with this, uh, and this is this does two things. It first of all, it does uh, wet pickup. It's a wet pickup floor tool. You can also use it as a pet tool if you had a lot of pet hair because squeegees are good for that. Um, and then there's just an agitation brush uh, or carpet groomer brush on the other side. Um, there. Now, I have things kind of separated out here. We have the wet hose, the wet uh, nozzles, and then we also have our dry stuff over here. So we have our, you know, our standard vacuum tools uh, right here. You know, your dust brush, upholster, crevice tool, all that stuff standard as well. So it really does come with a lot of stuff. You are getting, in my opinion, more than what you're paying for. Um, if I were them, I would probably have cut back on some of these attachments now. Because most people are getting this for the wet aspect of the machine. But if you had bare floors and area rugs, and need to clean your car a lot, or need to shampoo a lot, this would actually be a good all-around machine for you um, with that. Now the warranty on them are very good. They, it's, a, uh, it's like a two-year warranty on that uh, bumper to bumper. They're designed to last 2,000 working hours, which is almost double of any other manufacturer. To throw that in context, Miele, a high-end German manufacturer of vacuum cleaners and appliances, says 1,000 working hours. And they cost, most Milas are going to cost double what this does. So this is really a great value. Now, if you're overseas and you're in the UK or in Europe, the price of this machine is going to be a lot different than it is here in the US. So just keep that in mind. This is a review based on the US market. And if you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out. Share it with your friends. Uh, on on Facebook, Twitter, whatever your poison is. Um, and I just want to give a big shout out to our Patreon supporters who help make things like this possible. They're who really help drive this channel. And if you saw anything in this video, minus the automobiles, uh, check out our affiliate links below. And definitely hit that notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. I generally post about twice a week. You folks have a wonderful day. And definitely, any questions, throw them in the comment box below. No, oh, George, you can't have the keys to the car. You have to stay in the garage. We have the fun. Vacuum cleaners stay at home.